Hi, this is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center, and today I want to show you a 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 650 ABS model. That's right, anti-lock brakes. You know, the ABS is new on the Ninja 650. We've been using it on uh, the ZX-10R, the Concours, our uh, big Voyagers are available with ABS. You know, ABS brakes are really good. I get a lot of questions about ABS, like how do they work, and meaning uh, how do they perform and uh, you know they work just like regular, regular brakes the biggest difference is that you can't lock up the brakes it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to resist letting the wheel lock up you know and, and that's especially good for beginning riders who don't maybe have the same skill level as an experienced rider but even an experienced rider like myself I've been riding for over 25 years and ridden a little bit of everything in a panic situation, we can all benefit from those ABS brakes. And so I'm currently riding a ZX-10 with ABS brakes, and uh, I just love it. And so uh, there's really no disadvantage to those ABS brakes, uh, except that it's more expensive. So uh, there's not a real big reason to get all worked up about it. I have a guy say to me, oh, I don't want ABS brakes. I don't know of any reason that you would resist it other than it's more expensive. It adds just a few pounds in weight. Uh, but otherwise, there's really no negative to those ABS brakes. And so, all right, so let's talk a little bit about just the Ninja 650 in general. These are, again, a 650cc motor. They're a twin-cylinder motor. A lot of folks get confused. Uh, the ZX6Rs or 600s, uh, they're really a 636cc now for 2013. But this is a 650. But the ZX6R, even though it's smaller displacement, is the higher-performance bike. But uh, don't discount this bike because these are really good performers. They're a lot of fun to ride. These are a twin cylinder as opposed to the four cylinder motor in the ZX6R. These have a steel chassis. You can kind of see the double tube chassis there. It has a frame that comes down here and then it comes down here and then the motor is bolted in it and the motor is like a stressed member of the frame. Uh, these are, like we said, a twin cylinder. They're dual overhead cams, so an intake cam and exhaust cam. They're four valves per cylinder. It's two cylinders, so there's eight valves. These are liquid cooled, meaning there's a radiator, and these are fuel injected. Uh, one of the other cool things I like about these is they have a cassette type transmission. And what that means is, is that you can access the transmission gears and the shafts and shift forks on this bike by uh, removing the clutch. So you'd remove this clutch cover, remove the clutch basket, um, and then uh, the transmission can be, ser be serviced by removing some bolts and pulling it out the side. And so. Uh, that's still not a thing you can do it maybe for the average guy. It's still something the dealer may still want to have the dealer do, but it's much, much simpler than having to remove the motor from the bike and completely disassemble the motor. So anyway, I dig that it's got a, the cassette type transmission. You can see the muffler here is down low. That keeps the center of gravity lower on the bike. It really makes it handle nice. The 17 inch wheels with radial tires got dual disc front brakes with the pedal style rotors and what that means is you've got these little cuts here in the rotor those little cuts allow for more surface area to dissipate heat you've got a twin piston calipers on the front your clear flush mounted turn signals really look nice the dual headlights uh, it's got a windshield one of the cool things about this windshield <laughs> is that these are adjustable meaning uh, you can move the mounting bracket up two times so you can move it like an inch up and then out an inch up again if you'd like it's, you have to unbolt it and move it so it's not a quick move but if you're going to be going on a trip or something you want more wind protection you can move it up if you want to be a little sportier and have it down you can have it down but anyway that's a nice feature uh, the two-piece sporty seat looks good on it it's got an LED rear tail light looks cool clear lenses in the back uh, you have a combination of analog and digital instrumentation, so you've got your analog tachometer and there's kind of a digital readout for the speedometer. This bike is not serviced, so unfortunately I can't turn it on for you, but I think we have some some other video of a Ninja 650 where it is serviced and you might uh, watch one of those, but uh, you're going to have all the relevant information, of course, speed, trip meter, odometers, clock, fuel gauge, um, all of that good stuff that you would expect. Uh, this is your right hand handlebar control. This is engine off and run. Here's your start button. Uh, this is your front brake lever. You've got a little dial here that lets you adjust the reach from the grip to the lever. So it's just kind of for your comfort there. This is your throttle there. And then this will be your clutch lever. So you've got to pull that clutch to shift gears. Again, it's adjustable. You can adjust the reach 
on here. Uh, you've got hazard lights, uh, high beam and low beam. This is your turn signals. Push left to go left, push right to go right, and push it into cancel. There's your horn button. Uh, it does have a little passing light here. This flashes the high beam. I think that's more of a European thing. Uh, the lock and gas cap, there's your ignition switch. Uh, shift lever is on this side, and then the rear brake lever is on the other side of the bike. Let's take a look at this side of the bike here. Really great looking bike in this blue. Really looks fantastic. You know, these are really fun bikes to ride, even if you're an experienced rider. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is not going to be a, uh, uh, a beginner bike for everyone. I, I have had folks that have bought these bikes for their first bike, and I don't really have a problem with that as long as they're physically able to handle the bike really well. well. And maybe they've got a little bit of dirt bike experience or something like that. But I don't think everybody should start out on this bike. But uh, because it is a full-size motorcycle, it is the real deal. And uh, anyway, everybody's different. So this is not going to be a good first bike for everyone. But uh, there'll be some people that can probably handle this starting out for the first bike. Uh, and then I like combined with the ABS, it'll really help with those who maybe are a little less experienced. Uh, just don't have the skills yet. So... Uh, it's a good thing. Well, there you have it. That's a, a good look at the 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 650 ABS in blue. All right, let's tell you who we are, where we are. We are Mainland Cycle Center, and we're located about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45 in Lamarck, Texas. Our website is mainlandcyclecenter.com. Our phone number is 409 948 4969. Give us a call, shoot us an email, come by and see us. We'd love to help any way we can. Hey, thanks for watching.